Mississippi. It's Oregon State University going up against uh, Loyola and Sister Jean. Opens up as a seven-point Loyola favorite, 126 and a half on uh, on this one. And I'm seeing a lot of sevens pretty much straight across the board. I am seeing a total of 125. So, Ralph, let me come to you starting this game here. Uh, Oregon State, uh, does the ride end here against Loyola, or can they keep playing and shooting the way they've been doing? I think Loyola wins the game, but there's only one way I could use my money on making a bet, and that's on Oregon State. You know, it's very hard to look at a, at a team 19 and 12 and saying they're competitive, but you could say, okay, there's two seasons. They started 10 and 10, and, you know, they've gone 9 and 2 down the stretch with only losses to Colorado and Oregon. So, you know, two tournament teams. I, I look at it, and you, you now have such an overvalued team. And I don't normally pull up numbers here, but I went to the database for this. Number one, you have a big favorite with a very low total. And in the tournament, when you have a total of 126 or less, favorites by themselves in the last 66 games are only 40% against the spread. And it makes total sense. A game in the 50s or 60s, and you're giving seven points. Now, Teams that have beaten the number one seed like Loyola did. The next game, they've actually gone nine and six in the Sweet 16 round, but only four of those have ever been a favorite. They've gone one and three against the spread like Loyola is. And then I look at the historic bounce from one game to the next. There have been 53 upsets in March Madness of dogs of six and a half or more like Loyola is off of. Only four of them have ever been a favorite, and no one has ever been a seven-point favorite. So you're talking about a Loyola team that, yes, a great dog, a great dog, great defense, slowed on the pace, goes from a seven-point dog pulling the upset to now being a seven-point total favorite. Beavers for me. All right, going Beavers there. Uh, Marco, it's a hell of a five-day winning streak at the perfect time here for Oregon. And a lot has to do with the fact that they're – they're hitting 42% from behind the arc in that five-game winning streak. Something's got to give here, doesn't it? What does? Yeah, you know, like my buddy did yesterday to me, I might as well just rip up my notes because <laughs> Ralph just took them all uh, with uh, my analysis of this game. But, uh, yeah, guys, you look at um, Oregon State coming in here, and if it wouldn't be for Oral Roberts, who clearly holds the title of the biggest surprise in the big dance, the next biggest surprise would be Oregon State. I mean, the whole Pac-12 has been a surprise, but look what Oregon State, you know, has done down the stretch. You want to talk about being a money machine? They're 12-1 and one against the spread their last 13 games, guys. Mm. And as Ralph alluded to, you know, it's one thing when you are the hunter, as Loyola has been an underdog and been, you know, winning these games. Now you're a seven-point favorite. You're the hunted. It's a totally different, you know, mindset. I got to look at Oregon State here uh, and take them. And here's a little quirky stat with Oregon State this year. Following a game in which they were an underdog, they're 17-2 and two against the spread this season. Well, they were definitely an underdog in their last game. We'll go ahead and take them again here. Ride Oregon State plus the points in a low-scoring game where points should be at a premium. Yeah, I'm still seeing seven, a six and a half or two popping up here, Dave. I, I mean, in your opinion, you've watched this team now. How good are they, this Oregon State team? Well, I'll tell you what, they've looked great in this tournament, and so has Loyola. Uh, you could argue these two teams are playing as well as anybody right now. So, you know, maybe the winner of this game keeps on rolling and gets to the Final Four. Uh, look, it, it's pretty simple. Uh, Oregon State is uh, – they're just – a point spread monster right now. It's going to be a low possession game because these are two of the slowest tempo teams in the country. Uh, I'm not laying this kind of a number uh, to them. Uh, you know, I, Loyola's, I, I think Loyola wins the game, but boy, I mean, this looks like it's going to be a war uh, where might very well be first team to 60 wins it. Uh, and uh, it, the public is going to, I, I believe the public is going to bet Oregon State in this game. Or at least that's where the money's going to show up. So if, if you like Oregon State, I think you take the seven now. That's as good as you're going to get. I can see this getting to six and a half, maybe even six on game day. Uh, right now, I would go for the value with the Beavers.
All right, Beavers across the